Hi, and welcome to video two for section 3.3 for Math 181. This is the second of three videos. In this video, we're going to look at one and only thing, and that's logarithmic differentiation. We're going to use this property or this idea when we get some really nasty functions and we need to take the derivative. So for example, let's say I want to differentiate y is equal to x to the 3 fourths power times the square root of x squared plus 1 all over 3x plus 2 to the fifth power. If I was just to try to figure out, okay, y prime is equal to something, what do I have to do here? Well, I have a quotient, so I'm going to have to apply the quotient rule. I have a product in the numerator, so I'm going to have to apply the uh, product rule when I get to that point. I have square roots. So that's going to give me negative exponents, things moving all around. This is going to get really messy in a big hurry, right? But using the idea of logs, I can simplify this thing a little bit. If I take the natural log of both sides, so natural log of the left side, and remember you have to take the natural log of both sides. You can't just do one and say, okay, y is equal to the natural log of this thing. And that's like if I said y equals 3, and then I said, okay, y is the natural log of 3. They're not equal. You have to take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of x to the 3 fourths power times the square root of x squared plus 1 all over 3x plus 2 to the fifth power. So this right side, if you remember in section 3.2, we did that example where we wrote, we had a really messy expression, and we wrote it into one log uh, expression. We're going to do the opposite here. We're going to break this thing apart. So what do we have? We have natural log of y. First thing is this is a, a, a quotient, right? So that's my law of logs number two. So I can break this up as natural log x to the 3 fourths times, I'm going to change this now to exponents here, x squared plus 1 to the half minus natural log of this guy, 3x plus 2, all to the fifth power. So now break this up. This is natural log of the product of two functions. That means natural log of y, so I can add these, right? Natural log of x to the 3 fourths plus natural log of this guy, x squared plus 1 to the half, minus natural log of 3x plus 2 to the fifth. Sorry, I keep switching colors on here. Markers are dying on me. So now I'm going to apply the last law of logs, number three, which is when I have exponents, I can bring those to the front. So it gives me what? Natural log of y is 3 fourths times natural log of x plus, bring down the half, so 1 half natural log of x squared plus 1 minus, bring down the 5, so minus 5 natural log of 3x plus 2. So now I've rewritten this original one taking natural log of both sides and then applying all my law of logs to get this expression here at the bottom. So now that I have that, now I can take the derivative of everything. So I get here natural log of y because I'm taking this with respect to x, right? Differentiating y this equation, so this becomes what? Derivative of a natural log of y is 1 over y times what? dy over dx. It's the implicit differentiation. I have an equation 
I want to differentiate it with respect to x, so I have to have that dy dx. And that's ultimately what, or if you want to put in y prime, that's, that's fine as well. And then I need to take the derivative of these pieces. So this is a product rule, but this is a constant, so this is going to be what? 3 fourths times the derivative of natural log of x, which is what? 1 over x plus 1 half times the derivative of natural log x squared plus 1, so that's 1 over x squared plus 1 times the derivative, remember the chain rule, of this guy. So that's 2x minus 5 times the natural log of this. So the derivative of that is 1 over 3x plus 2 times the derivative of this, the chain rule, which is 3. So I get 1 over y dy dx is equal to, now just combine these pieces, uh, so I have 3 over 4x. Here the 2's will cancel out, so I get plus x over x squared plus 1. And then 5 times 3 is 15, so minus 15 over 3x plus 2. And I want the derivative, so I just want dy dx by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y. So I get dy dx, the derivative of this function to start with, is just y times this piece. 3 over 4x plus x over x squared plus 1 minus 15 over 3x plus 2. So you can see a lot easier taking the derivative force rather than try to apply the quotient rule and the product rule and the chain rule and get a big mess over here. So it's easier just to take the natural log of both sides and then do our differentiation. So that's it for video 2. Uh, come on back and we will finish up section 3.3.